Crete Greek, Crete, 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 Ancient Greek, Crete, Crete, is the largest and most populous of the Greek islands, the 88th largest island in the world and the 5th largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, after Sicily, Sardinia, Cyprus, and Corsica. Crete and a number of surrounding islands and islets constitute the region of Crete Greek, Periphraia Crete's one of the 13 top-level administrative units of Greece. The capital and the largest city is Heraklion. As of 2011, the region had a population of 623,065. Crete forms a significant part of the economy and cultural heritage of Greece, while retaining its own local cultural traits such as its own poetry and music. It was once the center of the Minoan civilization c. 2700-1420 BC, which is the earliest known civilization in Europe. The Palace of Knossos lies in Crete. Topic name The island is first referred to as Kaptara in texts from the Syrian city of Mari dating from the 18th century BC, repeated later in Neo-Assyrian records and the Bible Kaftar. It was also known in ancient Egyptian as Keftiu, strongly suggesting a similar Minoan name for the island. The current name of Crete is thought to be first attested in Mycenaean Greek texts written in Linear B, through the words K re te, asterisk Cretes, later Greek, Cretes plural of Kres, K re si jo, asterisk Kresihos, later Greek, Kresios Cretan. In ancient Greek, the name Crete Crete first appears in Homer's Odyssey. Its etymology is unknown. One proposal derives it from a hypothetical Luan word, asterisk kursata cf, kursawa island, kursata cutting, sliver. In Latin, it became creta. The original Arabic name of Crete was Ikritus Arabic Physical geography Crete is the largest island in Greece and the fifth largest island in the Mediterranean Sea. It is located in the southern part of the Aegean Sea separating the Aegean from the Libyan Sea. <inaudible> <inaudible> island morphology The island has an elongated shape. It spans 260 kilometers, 160 miles from east to west, is 60 kilometers, 37 miles at its widest point and narrows to as little as 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles close to Yerapetra. Crete covers an area of 8336 square kilometers, 3219 square miles, with a coastline of 1046 kilometers, 650 miles. To the north, it broaches the Sea of Crete, Greek, Kretikopelagos to the south, the Libyan Sea, Greek, Libykopelagos in the west, the Myrtoan Sea, and toward the east the Carpathian Sea. It lies approximately 160 kilometers, 99 miles south of the Greek mainland. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mountains and valleys. Crete is mountainous and its character is defined by a high mountain range crossing from west to east, formed by three different groups of mountains. The White Mountains or Lefka Ori 2,454 meters, 8,051 feet. The Idi Range, Silorites 35.18 degrees north, 24.82 degrees east, 35.18, meters, 8,058 feet. Kedros 1,777 meters, 5,830 feet. The Dikti Mountains 2,148 meters, 7,047 feet. 
Thripti 1489 meters, 4885 feet. These mountains lavished creek with valleys such as Amari Valley, fertile plateaus such as Lassithi Plateau, Omalos and Nida, caves such as Gorguthukas, Dictaean and Idaean, the birthplace of the ancient Greek god Zeus and a number of gorges. Topic Gorges, rivers and lakes The island has a number of gorges, such as the Samaria Gorge, Imbros Gorge, Cortaliotico Gorge, Ha Gorge, Platania Gorge, the Gorge of the Dead at Cato Zacros, Sisha, and Richtus Gorge and Richtus Waterfall at Exo Muliana in Sisha. The rivers of Crete include the Yeropotamos River, the Coeliaris, the Anapodiaris, the Almiros, the Geophyros, and Megas Potamos. There are only two freshwater lakes in Crete, Lake Corners and Lake Ajir, which are both in Harnia Regional Unit. Lake Vulas Meni at the coast, at Agios Nikolaos, was formerly a freshwater lake but is now connected to the sea, in Lassithi. Lakes that were created by dams also exist in Crete. There are three, the Lake of Apislamus Dam, the Lake of Potamos Dam, and the Lake of M. Pramiana Dam. Topic. Surrounding islands A large number of islands, islets, and rocks hug the coast of Crete. Many are visited by tourists, some are only visited by archaeologists and biologists. Some are environmentally protected. A small sample of the islands includes Gramvusa the pirate island opposite the Barlow Lagoon, Elephonisi Hania, which commemorates a shipwreck and an Ottoman massacre. Chrissy Island, Yerapetra, Lassithi, which hosts the largest natural Lebanon cedar forest in Europe. Paximadia Island, Galini, Rithymno, where the god Apollo and the goddess Artemis were born. The Venetian fort and leper colony at Spinalonga opposite the beach and shallow waters of Alunda Ias Nicolaus, Lassithi Dionysades Islands which are in an environmentally protected region together the Palm Beach Forest of Vi in the municipality of Sisha, Lassithi of the south coast, the island of Gavdos is located 26 nautical miles 48 km south of Horus Fakian and is the southernmost point of Europe. Topic. Climate Crete straddles two climatic zones, the Mediterranean and the North African, mainly falling within the former. As such, the climate in Crete is primarily Mediterranean. The atmosphere can be quite humid, depending on the proximity to the sea, while winter is fairly mild. Snowfall is common on the mountains between November and May, but rare in the low-lying areas. While some mountain tops are snow-capped for most of the year, near the coast snow only stays on the ground for a few minutes or hours. However, a truly exceptional cold snap swept the island in February 2004, during which period the whole island was blanketed with snow. During the Cretan summer, average temperatures reach the high 20s low 30s Celsius mid 80s to mid 90s Fahrenheit, with maxima touching the upper 30s mid 40s. The south coast, including the Mesera Plain and Asterusia Mountains, falls in the North African climatic zone, and thus enjoys significantly more sunny days and high temperatures throughout the year. There, date palms bear fruit, and swallows remain year-round rather than migrate to Africa. The fertile region around Yerapetra, on the southeastern corner of the island, is renowned for its exceptional year-round agricultural production, with all kinds of summer vegetables and fruit produced in greenhouses throughout the winter. Western Crete Hania province receives more rain and is more erosive compared to the eastern part of Crete. Geography 
Crete is the most populous island in Greece with a population of more than 600,000 people. Approximately 42% live in Crete's main cities and towns whilst 45% live in rural areas. Administration Crete with its nearby islands form the Crete region Greek, Periphraia Crete's Periphraia Cretus, one of the thirteen regions of Greece which were established in the 1987 administrative reform. With the 2010 Kallikratis plan, the powers and authority of the regions were redefined and extended. The region is based at Heraklion and is divided into four regional units pre prefectures. From west to east these are, Hania, Rathimno, Heraklion, and Lassithi. These are further subdivided into 24 municipalities. The region's governor is, since 1 January 2011, Stavros Arnautakis, who was elected in the November 2010 local administration elections for the Panhellenic Socialist Movement. Cities Heraklion is the largest city and capital of Crete. Hania was the capital until 1971. The principal cities are Heraklion or Kandia 173,993 inhabitants. Hania 108,642 inhabitants. Rathimno 34,300 inhabitants. Yerapetra 23,707 inhabitants. Ice Nikolaos 19,462 inhabitants. Sisha 14,338 inhabitants. Topic: Economy. The economy of Crete is predominantly based on services and tourism. However, agriculture also plays an important role and Crete is one of the few Greek islands that can support itself independently without a tourism industry. The economy began to change visibly during the 1970s as tourism gained in importance. Although an emphasis remains on agriculture and stock breeding, because of the climate and terrain of the island, there has been a drop in manufacturing, and an observable expansion in its service industries mainly tourism -related. All three sectors of the Cretan economy agriculture, farming, processing packaging, services, are directly connected and interdependent. The island has a per capita income much higher than the Greek average, whereas unemployment is at approximately 4%, one-sixth of that of the country overall. As in many regions of Greece, viticulture and olive groves are significant, oranges and citrons are also cultivated. Until recently there were restrictions on the import of bananas to Greece, therefore bananas were grown on the island, predominantly in greenhouses. Dairy products are important to the local economy and there are a number of speciality cheeses such as misithra, anthotyros, and kefalotiri. Transport infrastructure The island has three significant airports, Nikos Kazantzakis at Heraklion, the Daskalyanis Airport at Hania and a smaller one in Sisha. The first two serve international routes, acting as the main gateways to the island for travelers. There is a long-standing plan to replace Heraklion Airport with a completely new airport at Kastelai, where there is presently an Air Force base. The island is well served by ferries, mostly from Athens, by ferry companies such as Minoan Lines and ANEK Lines. 
Although the road network leads almost everywhere, there is a lack of modern highways, although this is gradually changing with the completion of the Northern Coastal Spine Highway. Also, during the 1930s there was a narrow gauge industrial railway in Heraklion, from Geophyros in the west side of the city to the port. There are now no railway lines on Crete. The government is planning the construction of a line from Harnia to Heraklion via Rithymno. Development Newspapers have reported that the Ministry of Mercantile Marine is ready to support the agreement between Greece, South Korea, Dubai Ports World and China for the construction of a large international container port and free trade zone in southern Crete near Tampaki. The plan is to expropriate 850 hectares of land. The port would handle 2 million containers per year, but the project has not been universally welcomed because of its environmental, economic and cultural impact. As of January 2013, the project has still not been confirmed, although there is mounting pressure to approve it, arising from Greece's difficult economic situation. There are plans for underwater cables going from mainland Greece to Israel and Egypt passing by Crete and Cyprus, Euroafrica Interconnector and EuroAsia Interconnector. They would connect Crete electrically with mainland Greece, ending energy isolation of Crete. Now Hellenic Republic covers for Crete electricity costs difference of around €300 million Euros per year. History In 2002, the paleontologist Gerard Gielinski discovered fossil footprints left by ancient human relatives 5,600,000 years ago. Hominids settled in Crete at least 130,000 years ago. In the later Neolithic and Bronze Age periods, under the Minoans, Crete had a highly developed, literate civilization. It has been ruled by various ancient Greek entities, the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the Emirate of Crete, the Republic of Venice and the Ottoman Empire. After a brief period of independence 1897 to 1913 under a provisional Cretan government, it joined the Kingdom of Greece. It was occupied by Nazi Germany during the Second World War. Prehistoric Crete The first human settlement in Crete dates before 130,000 years ago, during the Paleolithic Age. Settlements dating to the Aceramic Neolithic in the 7th millennium BC, used cattle, sheep, goats, pigs and dogs as well as domesticated cereals and legumes. Ancient Knossos was the site of one of these major Neolithic then later Minoan sites. Other Neolithic settlements include those at Kefala, Megassa, and Trapeza. Minoan civilization Crete was the center of Europe's first advanced civilization, the Minoan c. BC. This civilization wrote in the undeciphered script known as Linear A. Early Cretan history is replete with legends such as those of King Minos, Theseus and the Minotaur, passed on orally via poets such as Homer. The volcanic eruption of Thera may have been the cause of the downfall of the Minoan civilization. Topic: <inaudible> Mycenaean civilization. In 1420 BC, the Minoan civilization was overrun by the Mycenaean civilization from mainland Greece. The oldest samples of writing in the Greek language, as identified by Michael Ventris, is the Linear B archive from Knossos, dated approximately to 1425–1375 BC. <laughs> Archaic and Classical period 
After the Bronze Age collapse, Crete was settled by new waves of Greeks from the mainland. A number of city-states developed in the Archaic period. There was very limited contact with mainland Greece, and Greek historiography shows little interest in Crete, and as a result, there are very few literary sources. During the 6th to 4th centuries BC, Crete was comparatively free from warfare. The Gortin Code 5th century BC is evidence for how codified civil law established a balance between aristocratic power and civil rights. In the late 4th century BC, the aristocratic order began to collapse due to endemic infighting among the elite, and Crete's economy was weakened by prolonged wars between city-states. During the 3rd century BC, Gortin, Kaidonia, Hania, Litos and Polyrinia challenged the primacy of ancient Knossos. While the cities continued to prey upon one another, they invited into their feuds mainland powers like Macedon and its rivals Rhodes and Ptolemaic Egypt. In 220 BC the island was tormented by a war between two opposing coalitions of cities. As a result, the Macedonian king Philip V gained hegemony over Crete which lasted to the end of the Cretan War 205 BC, when the Rhodians opposed the rise of Macedon and the Romans started to interfere in Cretan affairs. In the 2nd century BC Yerapetra gained supremacy on eastern Crete. Roman rule Crete was involved in the Mithridatic Wars, initially repelling an attack by Roman general Marcus Antonius Creticus in 71 BC. Nevertheless, a ferocious three-year campaign soon followed under Quintus Caecilius Metellus, equipped with three legions and Crete was finally conquered by Rome in 69 BC, earning for Metellus the title. Creticus. Gortin was made capital of the island, and Crete became a Roman province, along with Cyrenaica that was called Creta et Cyrenaica. Archaeological remains suggest that Crete under Roman rule witnessed prosperity and increased connectivity with other parts of the empire. In the 2nd century AD, at least three cities on Crete Litos, Gortin, Hierapuna, joined the Panhellenian, a league of Greek cities founded by the emperor Hadrian. When Diocletian redivided the empire, Crete was placed, along with Cyrene, under the Diocese of Moesia, and later by Constantine I to the Diocese of Macedonia. Byzantine Empire, First Period Crete was separated from Cyrenaica c. 297. It remained a province within the eastern half of the Roman Empire, usually referred to as the Eastern Roman Byzantine Empire after the establishment of a second capital in Constantinople by Constantine in 330. Crete was subjected to an attack by Vandals in 467, the Great Earthquakes of 365 and 415, a raid by Slavs in 623, Arab raids in 654 and the 670s, and again in the 8th century. In c. 732, the Emperor Leo III the Isaurian transferred the island from the jurisdiction of the Pope to that of the Patriarchate of Constantinople. <inaudible> <inaudible> Arab rule In the 820s, after 900 years as a Roman, and then Eastern Roman Byzantine island, Crete was captured by Andalusian Muladis led by Abu Hafs, who established the Emirate of Crete. The Byzantines launched a campaign that took most of the island back in 842 and 843 under Theoktistos. Further Byzantine campaigns in 911 and 949 failed. 
In 960 over 1, Nikephoros Phokas' campaign completely restored Crete to the Byzantine Empire, after a century and a half of Arab control. <laughs> Byzantine Empire, Second Period In 961, Nikephoros Phokas returned the island to Byzantine rule after expelling the Arabs. Extensive efforts at conversion of the populace were undertaken, led by John Zenos and Nikon. The Metanueti. The reconquest of Crete was a major achievement for the Byzantines, as it restored Byzantine control over the Aegean littoral and diminished the threat of Saracen pirates, for which Crete had provided a base of operations. In 1204, the Fourth Crusade seized and sacked the imperial capital of Constantinople. Crete was initially granted to leading crusader Boniface of Montferrat in the partition of spoils that followed. However, Boniface sold his claim to the Republic of Venice, whose forces made up the majority of the Crusade. Venice's rival the Republic of Genoa immediately seized the island and it was not until 1212 that Venice secured Crete as a colony. <inaudible> <inaudible> Venetian rule From 1212, during Venice's rule, which lasted more than four centuries, a renaissance swept through the island as is evident from the plethora of artistic works dating to that period. Known as the Cretan school or post-Byzantine art, it is among the last flowerings of the artistic traditions of the fallen empire. The most notable representatives of this Cretan Renaissance were the painter El Greco and the writers Nicholas Calliarchus (1645–1707), Georgios Kalafatis (professor, c. 1652–1720), Andreas Musilis (c. 1665–1721), and Vicentos Cornaros. Under the rule of the Catholic Venetians, the city of Candia was reputed to be the best fortified city of the eastern Mediterranean. The three main forts were located at Grambusa, Spinalonga, and Fortiza at Rathimnon. Other fortifications include the Kazima Fortress at Sisha. In 1492, Jews expelled from Spain settled on the island. In 1574–77, Crete was under the rule of Giacomo Foscarini as Proveditor General, Sindus and Inquista. According to Starr's 1942 article, the rule of Giacomo Foscarini was a dark age for Jews and Greeks. Under his rule, non-Catholics had to pay high taxes with no allowances. In 1627, there were 800 Jews in the city of Candia, about 7% of the city's population. Marco Foscarini was the doge of Venice during this time period. Ottoman rule The Ottomans conquered Crete in 1669, after the siege of Candia. Many Greek Cretans fled to other regions of the Republic of Venice after the Ottoman-Venetian Wars, some even prospering such as the family of Simone Stratigo c. 1824, who migrated to Dalmatia from Crete in 1669. Islamic presence on the island, aside from the interlude of the Arab occupation, was cemented by the Ottoman conquest. Most Cretan Muslims were local Greek converts who spoke Cretan Greek, but in the island's 19th century political context they came to be viewed by the Christian population as Turks. Contemporary estimates vary, but on the eve of the Greek War of Independence 1830, as much as 45% of the population of the island may have been Muslim. A number of Sufi orders were widespread throughout the island, the Bektashi order being the most prevalent, possessing at least five tekkas. Many among them were crypto Christians who converted back to Christianity in subsequent years, while many Cretan Turks fled Crete because of the unrest, settling in Turkey, Rhodes, Syria, Libya, and elsewhere. 
By 1900, 11% of the population was Muslim. Those remaining were relocated in the 1924 population exchange between Greece and Turkey. During Easter of 1770, a notable revolt against Ottoman rule, in Crete, was started by Daskaloyanis, a shipowner from Sfakia who was promised support by Orlov's fleet, which never arrived. Daskaloyanis eventually surrendered to the Ottoman authorities. Today, the airport at Hania is named after him. Crete was left out of the modern Greek state by the London Protocol of 1830, and soon it was yielded to Egypt by the Ottoman Sultan. Egyptian rule was short-lived and sovereignty was returned to the Ottoman Empire by the Convention of London on 3 July 1840. Heraklion was surrounded by high walls and bastions and extended westward and southward by the 17th century. The most opulent area of the city was the northeastern quadrant where all the elite were gathered together. The city had received another name under the rule of the Ottomans, the deserted city. The urban policy that the Ottoman applied to Candia was a two-pronged approach. The first was the religious endowments. It made the Ottoman elite contribute to building and rehabilitating the ruined city. The other method was to boost the population and the urban revenue by selling off urban properties. According to Molly Green 2001, there were numerous records of real estate transactions during the Ottoman rule. In the deserted city, minorities received equal rights in purchasing property. Christians and Jews were also able to buy and sell in the real estate market. The Cretan Revolt of 1866–1869 or Great Cretan Revolution Greek, was a three-year uprising against Ottoman rule, the third and largest in a series of revolts between the end of the Greek War of Independence in 1830 and the establishment of the independent Cretan state in 1898. A particular event which caused strong reactions among the liberal circles of Western Europe was the Holocaust of Arkady. The event occurred in November 1866, as a large Ottoman force besieged the Arkady Monastery, which served as the headquarters of the rebellion. In addition to its 259 defenders, over 700 women and children had taken refuge in the monastery. After a few days of hard fighting, the Ottomans broke into the monastery. At that point, the abbot of the monastery set fire to the gunpowder stored in the monastery's vaults, causing the death of most of the rebels and the women and children sheltered there. Topic: <laughs> Cretan State 1898 to 1908. Following the repeated uprisings in 1841, 1858, 1889, 1895 and 1897 by the Cretan people, who wanted to join Greece, the Great Powers decided to restore order and in February 1897 sent in troops. The island was subsequently garrisoned by troops from Great Britain, France, Italy and Russia, Germany and Austro-Hungary withdrawing from the occupation in early 1898. During this period Crete was governed through a committee of admirals from the remaining four powers. In March 1898 the powers decreed, with the very reluctant consent of the Sultan, that the island would be granted autonomy under Ottoman suzerainty in the near future. In September 1898 an outbreak of rioting in Candia, modern Heraklion, left over 500 Cretan Christians, and 14 British servicemen, dead. As a result, the admirals ordered the expulsion of all Ottoman troops and administrators from the island, a move that was ultimately completed by early November. The decision to grant autonomy to the island was enforced and a High Commissioner, Prince George of Greece, appointed, arriving to take up his post in December 1898. The flag of the Cretan state was chosen by the powers, with the white star representing the Ottoman suzerainty over the island. In 1905, disagreements between Prince George and Minister Eleftherios Venizelos 
over the question of the Enosis union with Greece, such as the prince's autocratic style of government, resulted in the Theriso revolt, one of leaders of which being Eleftherios Venizelos. Prince George resigned as High Commissioner and was replaced by Alexandros Zamis, a former Greek Prime Minister, in 1906. In 1908, taking advantage of domestic turmoil in Turkey as well as the timing of Zaimi's vacation away from the island, the Cretan deputies unilaterally declared union with Greece. With the break out of the First Balkan War, the Greek government declared that Crete was since then part of the Greek territory. This was not recognized internationally until 1 December 1913. Second World War During World War II, the island was the scene of the famous Battle of Crete in May 1941. The initial 11-day battle was bloody and left more than 11,000 soldiers and civilians killed or wounded. As a result of the fierce resistance from Allied forces and Cretan locals, Adolf Hitler forbade further large-scale paratroop operations. During the initial and subsequent occupation, German firing squads routinely executed male civilians in reprisal for the death of German soldiers. Civilians were rounded up randomly in local villages for the mass killings, such as at the massacre of Condamari and the Vianos massacres. Two German generals were later tried and executed for their roles in the killing of 3,000 of the island's inhabitants. There is also a video documentary of Crete in World War II titled The Eleventh Day, Crete 1941. Tourism Crete was one of the most popular holiday destinations in Greece. 15% of all arrivals in Greece come through the city of Heraklion port and airport, while charter journeys to Heraklion seven years ago made up 20% of all charter flights in Greece. Overall, more than 2 million tourists visited Crete some years back, when the increase in tourism was reflected in the number of hotel beds, rising by 53% in the period between 1986 and 1991. Today, the island's tourism infrastructure caters to all tastes, including a very wide range of accommodation. The island's facilities take in large luxury hotels with their complete facilities, swimming pools, sports and recreation, smaller family owned apartments, camping facilities, and others. Visitors reach the island via two international airports in Heraklion and Hania and a smaller airport in Sisha international charter and domestic flights starting May 2012 or by boat to the main ports of Heraklion, Hania, Rathimno, Ias Nikolaos and Sisha. Popular tourist attractions include the archaeological sites of the Minoan civilization, the Venetian Old City and Port of Hania, the Venetian Castle at Rathimno, the Gorge of Samaria, the islands of Chrissi, Elephoni Sea, Gramvusa, Spinalonga and the Palm Beach of Vi, which is the largest natural palm forest in Europe. Transportation. Crete has an extensive bus system with regular services across the north of the island and from north to south. There are two regional bus stations in Heraklion. Bus routes and timetables can be found on KTEL website. <laughs> Holiday homes and immigration Crete's mild climate attracts interest from northern Europeans who want a holiday home or residence on the island. EU citizens have the right to freely buy property and reside with little formality. A growing number of real estate companies cater to mainly British immigrants, followed by German, Dutch, Scandinavian and other European nationalities wishing to own a home in Crete. 
The British immigrants are concentrated in the western regional units of Harnia and Rathimna and to a lesser extent in Heraklion and Lassithi. <laughs> Archaeological sites and museums There is a large number of archaeological sites which include the Minoan sites of Knossos, Malia not to be confused with the town of the same name, Petras, and Phaistos, the classical site of Gordes, and the diverse archaeology of the island of Kufonisi which includes Minoan, Roman, and World War II ruins. The latter, however, has restricted access for the last few years due to conservation concerns so it is best to check before heading to a port. There are a number of museums throughout Crete. The Heraklion Archaeological Museum displays most of the archaeological finds of the Minoan era and was reopened in 2014. Fauna and flora Topic <inaudible> Fauna <inaudible> Crete is isolated from mainland Europe, Asia, and Africa, and this is reflected in the diversity of the fauna and flora. As a result, the fauna and flora of Crete have many clues to the evolution of species. There are no animals that are dangerous to humans on the island of Crete in contrast to other parts of Greece. Indeed, the ancient Greeks attributed the lack of large mammals such as bears, wolves, jackals, and poisonous snakes, to the labor of Hercules who took a live Cretan bull to the Peloponnese. Hercules wanted to honor the birthplace of Zeus by removing all «harmful» and «poisonous» animals from Crete. Later, Cretans believed that the island was cleared of dangerous creatures by the Apostle Paul, who lived on the island of Crete for two years, with his exorcisms and blessings. There is a Natural History Museum, the Natural History Museum of Crete, operating under the direction of the University of Crete and two aquariums, Aquaworld in Kersonissos and Crete Aquarium in Gorns, displaying sea creatures common in Cretan waters. Prehistoric fauna Dwarf elephants, dwarf hippopotamus, dwarf mammoths, dwarf deer, and giant flightless owls were native to Pleistocene Crete. Mammals Mammals of Crete include the vulnerable Cree Cree, Capra egregris cretica that can be seen in the national park of the Samaria Gorge and on Thodoru, Gia and Agioi Pants islets off the north coast, the Cretan wildcat and the Cretan spiny mouse. Other terrestrial mammals include subspecies of the Cretan marten, the Cretan weasel, the Cretan badger, the long-eared hedgehog, and the edible dormouse. The Cretan shrew, a type of white-toothed shrew, is considered endemic to the island of Crete because this species of shrew is unknown elsewhere. It is a relic species of the Crocidura shrews of which fossils have been found that can be dated to the Pleistocene era. In the present day it can only be found in the highlands of Crete. It is considered to be the only surviving remnant of the endemic species of the Pleistocene Mediterranean islands. Bat species include Blasius's horseshoe bat, the lesser horseshoe bat, the greater horseshoe bat, the lesser mouse eared bat, Geoffroy's bat, the whiskered bat, Cool's pipistrelle, the common pipistrelle, Savi's pipistrelle, the serotine bat, the long eared bat, Schreiber's bat, and the European free tailed bat. Birds A large variety of birds includes eagles can be seen in Lassithi, swallows throughout Crete in the summer and all the year in the south of the island, pelicans along the coast, and cranes including Gavdos and Gavdopula. The Cretan mountains and gorges are refuges for the endangered Lamagaya vulture. 
Bird species include the golden eagle, Bonelli's eagle, the bearded vulture or lammergeier, the griffon vulture, Eleonora's falcon, peregrine falcon, lana falcon, European kestrel, tawny owl, little owl, hooded crow, alpine chuff, red billed chuff, and the hoopoe. Topic: <laughs> Reptiles and amphibians. Tortoises can be seen throughout the island. Snakes can be found hiding under rocks. Toads and frogs reveal themselves when it rains. Reptiles include the Aegean wall lizard, Balkan green lizard, Chameleo chameleon, oscillated skink, snake-eyed skink, Moorish gecko, Turkish gecko, Cochise gecko, spur-thighed tortoise, and the striped-necked terrapin. There are four species of snake on the island and these are not dangerous to humans. The four species include the leopard snake, locally known as Ochendra, the Balkan whip snake, locally called Dendragalia, the dice snake, called Nerafido in Greek, and the only venomous snake is the nocturnal cat snake, which has evolved to deliver a weak venom at the back of its mouth to paralyze geckos and small lizards, and is not dangerous to humans. Turtles include the green turtle and the loggerhead turtle, which are both endangered species. The loggerhead turtle nests and hatches on north coast beaches around Rathimno and Hania, and south coast beaches along the Gulf of Mesra. Amphibians include the green toad, American toad, common tree frog, and the Cretan marsh frog. <laughs> Arthropods Crete has an unusual variety of insects. Cicadas, known locally as zitzikia, make a distinctive repetitive tzitzi sound that becomes louder and more frequent on hot summer days. Butterfly species include the swallowtail butterfly. Moth species include the hummingbird moth. There are several species of scorpion such as Euscorpius carpathicus whose venom is generally no more potent than a mosquito bite. Topic: Crustaceans and mollusks. River crabs include the semi-terrestrial Potamon potamios crab. Edible snails are widespread and can cluster in the hundreds, waiting for rainfall to reinvigorate them. Topic: Sea life. Apart from terrestrial mammals, the seas around Crete are rich in large marine mammals, a fact unknown to most Greeks at present, although reported since ancient times. Indeed, the Minoan frescoes depicting dolphins in Queen's Megaron at Knossos indicate that Minoans were well aware of and celebrated these creatures. Apart from the famous endangered Mediterranean monk seal, which lives in almost all the coasts of the country, Greece hosts whales, sperm whales, dolphins and porpoises. These are either permanent residents of the Mediterranean or just occasional visitors. The area south of Crete, known as the Greek Abyss, hosts many of them. Squid and octopus can be found along the coast and sea turtles and hammerhead sharks swim in the sea around the coast. The Crete Aquarium and the Aquaworld Aquarium, are two of only three aquariums in the whole of Greece. They are located in Gorns and Kersonissos respectively. Examples of the local sea life can be seen there. Some of the fish that can be seen in the waters around Crete include scorpion fish, dusky grouper, East Atlantic peacock wrasse, five spotted wrasse, weaver fish, common stingray, brown ray, Mediterranean black goby, pearly razorfish, stargazer, painted coma, damselfish, and the flying gurnard. Flora Common wildflowers include, chamomile, daisy, gladiolus, hyacinth, iris, poppy, cyclamen and tulip, among others. There are more than 200 different species of wild orchid on the island and this includes 14 varieties of Ophrys credica. 
Crete has a rich variety of indigenous herbs including common sage, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. Rare herbs include the endemic Cretan dittany, and ironwort, Sideritis syriaca, known as Melotiera. Varieties of cactus include the edible prickly pear. Common trees on the island include the chestnut, cypress, oak, olive tree, pine, plane, and tamarisk. Trees tend to be taller to the west of the island where water is more abundant. Environmentally protected areas There are a number of environmentally protected areas. One such area is located at the island of Elephoni Sea on the coast of southwestern Crete. Also, the palm forest of Vi in eastern Crete and the Dionysades both in the municipality of Sisha, Lassithi, have diverse animal and plant life. Vi has a palm beach and is the largest natural palm forest in Europe. The island of Chrissy, 15 km 9 miles south of Yerapetra, has the largest naturally grown Juniperus macrocarpa forest in Europe. Samaria Gorge is a world biosphere reserve and Richtus Gorge is protected for its landscape diversity. Mythology Crete has a rich mythology mostly connected with the ancient Greek gods but also connected with the Minoan civilization. According to Greek mythology, the Dictian cave at Mount Dicti was the birthplace of the god Zeus. The Paximadia Islands were the birthplace of the goddess Artemis and the god Apollo. Their mother, the goddess Leto, was worshipped at Phaistos. The goddess Athena bathed in Lake Vulismeni. The ancient Greek god Zeus launched a lightning bolt at a giant lizard that was threatening Crete. The lizard immediately turned to stone and became the island of Gia. The island can be seen from Knossos and it has the shape of a giant lizard. The islets of Lefkari were the result of a musical contest between the Sirens and the Muses. The Muses were so anguished to have lost that they plucked the feathers from the wings of their rivals. The Sirens turned white and fell into the sea at Aptera, featherless, where they formed the islands in the bay that were called Lefkari, the islands of Suda and Leon. Hercules, in one of his labors, took the Cretan bull to the Peloponnese. Europa and Zeus made love at Gortes and conceived the kings of Crete, Radamanthes, Sarpedon, and Minos. The labyrinth of the palace of Knossos was the setting for the myth of Theseus and the Minotaur in which the Minotaur was slain by Theseus. Icarus and Daedalus were captives of King Minos and crafted wings to escape. After his death King Minos became a judge of the dead in Hades, while Radamanthes became the ruler of the Elysian fields. Culture Crete has its own distinctive Mantonades poetry. The island is known for its mantonades based music typically performed with the Cretan lyra and the Leouto and has many indigenous dances, the most noted of which is the Pentozali. Cretan authors have made important contributions to Greek literature throughout the modern period. Major names include Vicentios Kornaros, creator of the 17th century epic romance Erotokritos, Greek Erotokritos and, in the 20th century, Nikos Kazantzakis. In the Renaissance, Crete was the home of the Cretan school of icon painting, which influenced El Greco and through him subsequent European painting. Crete is also famous for its traditional cuisine. The nutritional value of the Cretan cuisine was discovered by the American epidemiologist Ansel Keys in the 1960s. 
being later often mentioned by epidemiologists as one of the best examples of the Mediterranean diet. Cretans are fiercely proud of their island and customs, and men often don elements of traditional dress in everyday life, knee-high black riding boots Stivania, vraca breeches tucked into the boots at the knee, black shirt and black headdress consisting of a fishnet weave kerchief worn wrapped around the head or draped on the shoulders Sariki. Men often grow large moustaches as a mark of masculinity. Cretan society is well known for notorious family and clan vendettas which persist on the island to date. Cretans also have a tradition of keeping firearms at home, a tradition lasting from the era of resistance against the Ottoman Empire. Nearly every rural household on Crete has at least one unregistered gun. Guns are subject to strict regulation from the Greek government, and in recent years a great deal of effort to control firearms in Crete has been undertaken by the Greek police, but with limited success. <laughs> Sports Crete has many football clubs playing in the local leagues. During the 2011–12 season, OFI Crete, which plays at Theodoros Vardinoyanis Stadium Araklion, and Ergotelis FC, which plays at the Pankritio Stadium Araklion, were both members of the Greek Superleague. During the 2012–13 season, OFI Crete, which plays at Theodoros Vardinoyanis Stadium Araklion, and Platanias FC, which plays at the Perivolia Municipal Stadium, near Hania, are both members of the Greek Superleague. <laughs> Notable people Notable people from Crete include Nikos Kazantzakis, author, born in Heraklion seven times suggested for the Nobel Prize Odysseus Elatis, poet, awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1979, born in Heraklion Georgios Chortatsis, Renaissance author Vitsensos Kornaros, Renaissance author from Sisha, who lived in Heraklion then Candia, Dominikos Theotokopoulos, El Greco, Renaissance artist, born in Heraklion. Nikos Zilouris, famous composer and singer. Sarantonis, Cretan folk singer and Cretan lyra player and brother of Nikos Zilouris. Nana Muscuri, singer, born in Hania. Eleftherios Venizelis, former Greek prime minister, born in Hania prefecture. Constantinos Mitsotakis, nephew of Eleftherios Venizelis and Prime Minister of Greece. Daskaloyanis, leader of the Orlov Revolt in Crete in 1770. Michalis Kormoulis, leader of the Greek War of Independence from Mesra. Eleni Danieladou, tennis player, born in Hania. Louis Tikas, Greek American labor union leader. Nick Dandolos, a.k.a. Nick the Greek, professional gambler and high roller Joseph Safakis, a computer scientist, laureate of the 2007 Turing Award, born in Heraklion in 1946 Konstantinos Daskalakis, associate professor at MIT's Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department George Karniadakis, Professor of Applied Mathematics at Brown University, also Research Scientist at MIT John Aniston Yanis Anastasakis, Greek-American actor, father of Jennifer Aniston George Sykondakis, a shepherd, a war hero and an author Ahmed Rismi Efendi, 18th century Ottoman statesman, diplomat, and author, notably of two Sefert name. Turkey's first ever ambassador in Berlin during Frederick the Great's reign. He was born into a Muslim family of Greek descent in the Cretan town of Rithymno in the year 1700. Giratli Ali Aziz Efendi, Turkey's third ambassador in Berlin and arguably the first Turkish author to have written in novelistic form. 
Al Husayn I ibn Ali at Turkey, founder of the Husaynid dynasty, which ruled Tunisia until 1957. Salatioglu 1750 Hanya 1825 Kandiyar, one of the most important 18th century poets of Turkish folk literature. Giratli Siri Pasha, Ottoman administrator, Leyla Saz's husband and a notable man of letters in his own right. Vedat Tek, representative figure of the first national architecture movement in Turkish architecture, son of Leyla Saz and Giratli Siri Pasha. Paul Muller, alias Molazard Mehmed Ali, born Muslim, converted to Christianity and becoming a Roman Catholic bishop and author. Tarmishazad Mehmed Masad, memorialist. Ramazad Bahayadan Bediz, the first Turkish photographer by profession. The thousands of photographs he took, based as of 1895 successively in Crete, Izmir, Istanbul and Ankara as head of the photography department of Turkish Historical Society, have immense historical value. Saleh Zeki, Turkish photographer in Hanya Ali Nayyip Zard, associate of Eleftherios Venizelos, prefect of Drama and Kavala, Adrianople, and Lassithi. Ismail Faisal Pasha, 1856–1921 descended from the rooted Sebasioglu family of Sok who had settled in Crete. He has been the first Minister of Public Works in the government of Grand National Assembly in 1920. He was the father of Ali Fuad and Mehmed Ali. Mehmet Atif Adizdali, 1876–1947 Turkish officer. Mustafa Ertegrul Akka, 1892–1961 Turkish officer who sank HMS Ben Mikri. Savat Sakir Kabargakli, alias Halakarnas Balakchizi the fisherman of Halakarnassus, writer, although born in Crete and has often let himself be cited as Cretan, descends from a family of Ottoman aristocracy with roots in Afyonkarahi Sir. His father had been an Ottoman High Commissioner in Crete and later Ambassador in Athens. Asterisk likewise, as stated above, Mustafa Naili Pasha was Albanian, Egyptian. Bulent Arink born. The 25th of May 1948, has been a Deputy Prime Minister of Turkey since 2009. He is of Cretan Muslim heritage with his ancestors arriving to Turkey as Cretan refugees during the time of Sultan Abdul Hamid II and is fluent in Cretan Greek. Arink is a proponent of wanting to reconvert the Hagia Sophia into a mosque, which has caused diplomatic protestations from Greece. Yosef Shlomo del Medigo, Renaissance rabbi, mathematician, astronomer and philosopher. See also Cretan Greek Cretan Lyra Cretan Turks Cretan Wine List of novels set in Crete List of rulers of Crete Mantonades